Breaking this morning, an early morning stove fire has chased 16 people out of their apartment in southeast Portland. We want to go right to Emma Jerome. She's live at southeast 143rd and division with a look at the scene. Emma, do investigators know what happened here? They say that this started in the kitchen of one of these units. It, however, impacted four units at this apartment complex. You can see crews right now working to board up the impacted units, which of one of them at least burnt completely on the inside all the way up through the roof. When I arrived on scene around 4 a.m., crews were sawing into the roof with a chainsaw, trying to get access and clear it up there. TJ Leonard's the battalion chief for Portland Fire and Rescue, told me what makes this difficult is that these apartments are meant to prevent fire spread should a fire break out in one of them, which makes it harder to access them. We have video of the flames when they were fully impacting this apartment complex. This happened early this morning, started in one unit, spread to multiple others, whether that be fire damage or smoke damage. When I spoke with some people showing up on the scene, they said they've lived here for nearly 20 years, never had an issue, and then something like this is happening, pushing them out of their homes. The Red Cross did show up a little bit later in the morning to help the displaced families go someplace while this is investigated, but for at least a few of these units, they're not going to be returning to their homes ever. They are completely burnt. Uh, Portland Fire and Rescue officials saying that they're going to probably investigate today and get more information to us later in the day. We know it started in the kitchen. We don't know exactly the circumstances of what happened and when or if any of the families are going to be returning to these units here. But once we learn that information, of course, we'll bring it straight to you. Live in Southeast Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Coin 6 News. Emma, thank you.